started when I was like in 8th grade or so, I don't remember how old I was, but uh, yeah, it's been about 8-9 years now, and uh, I mean, yeah, I just, I got into it, and it just became a passion, you know, I grew up, uh, like I said earlier, I grew up in uh, bad areas and stuff like that, around a lot of bad people, and it just, they kind of kept me on my path. There's no by-the-book preference to it, you know, as long as you go out, you have a good time. You know, and you enjoy what you're doing. I mean, that's what it's about. Because no matter what you do, you know, when it comes to graffiti, someone's going to like it. Someone's not going to like it. And, you know, that's just how things roll with graffiti. It's, um, it's always kind of different for everybody. And, uh, you know, everyone has their own perception on it. Some people, you know, they're about trying to make art and try to beautify the community with it. And some people are out there to uh, just destroy shit, you know. I mean, some people like to still go out, you know, when they see, you know, new mainstream businesses popping up and stuff like that, you know, you get your, your Targets and your Walmarts and stuff, you know, there's people that target that stuff specifically, you know, just to break down those kinds of values and stuff and, you know, kind of give the man the finger a little bit, you know. If there was somewhere, you know, like I could go paint places, you know, and know that people are going to be able to see it appreciate it and stuff like that you know I would be doing more stuff like that and that's why you know I pick high key spots sometimes you know more dangerous places why because it's more seen it's more visible you know it gets that credit kind of thing going you know so it's the same aspect I mean even if it's legal you know the location is location I've been looking at doing this wall for about two or three years now and uh, the whole time the plan was to kickstarter it because I needed some funding for it. It's a huge wall so I can't really pay for it out of pocket and I had to rent a lift and everything. So uh, I've been sending designs over to Epic Rides for a couple years trying to find something they liked that they would have on their building and this one was finally one they liked. So I threw it up on kickstarter, asked for $18,000 and got $22,000 and making it happen. This wall used to get tagged like weekly, the whole wall, so, um, you know, I guess this is part of graffiti abatement, but I've noticed that the, the newer generation of taggers doesn't seem to respect uh, murals as much as they used to. There used to be kind of like a code between artists and taggers that they would leave stuff alone, and this new generation doesn't really do that, so I try to avoid like dark and political murals that have a lot of messages just because even though I think they're a, a good avenue for getting a message across for me I'd rather just kind of like brighten people's day if I'm putting this much work into something so it's really nice to see Tucson kind of blooming as a, a kind of home for murals and you know it's there's there's more walls here than I could ever paint in a lifetime so you know I, I can't paint them all and it's nice to have this become kind of a destination for people who want to look at murals and kind of tour them, so. I mean, graffiti is, uh, it has a lot of negative connotations, but through the point, through the lens of um, visual culture, it's really, I, I view graffiti as more of like a map, um, it depicts people who live in an area. It's a way of um, identifying 
marginalized um, individuals, um, people who don't get acknowledged for who they are or where they've come from. It's a it's a means of expression to um, to give to give these nameless people names, you know. Um, it, there's a lot to be said. There's a lot you can learn from looking at graffiti. Um, it's not just vandalism that somebody scratches onto a wall or in a bathroom stall. It is. It's um. It's a cultural identifier, and um, acknowledging that culture on um, sort of a main stage. Um, I think it's an act of social justice for uh, for a lot of the people who need acknowledgement and deserve it but are just sort of on the fringes of um, what we consider is art. But of course murals are going to get defaced, of course they're going to peel, of course um, the sun's going to fade them out, you know, and that's okay, like it's part of the process. Mm -hmm.